Living in the shadow of Acadia National Park, Dr. Mark Kandach has two missions. As a primary care provider, I, I see this all the time. Wean his community off opioids and convince young people drugs are no party. Get back to the, the old idea that this is socially totally unacceptable and ridiculously dangerous. Relatively For the 62-year-old dad, it's personal. It uh, will kill a lot of people completely aside from the whole issue of addiction. Um, and um, that includes my own son. 19-year-old Gabe Kandach died in December, likely from a fentanyl overdose. Nobody knew or none of us knew that, that, um, that he was going to use that stuff. There was no time to say goodbye. My son and I had a great relationship and, and um, we were, you know, he had plenty of plans, like we were going to work on his car that day and all that stuff. It was, you know, there wasn't any warning that something like this was going to happen. He suspects his son was celebrating a new beginning, a new life starting soon, studying fashion design. Well, I mean, my son was a very intelligent young man. He and his buddies probably, I'm theorizing, got together for a little going away party or something like that. That's probably what happened, but I don't know. The next morning. I found him dead, just as if he was sleeping in his bed. Now Dr. Kandach is using his pain to prevent more. I had a great relationship with my kid. But that doesn't mean he told me everything.